video and today's video is gonna about it's gonna be about me explaining everything that went on in LA. Like I said, we just got back from LA. Um that trip was amazing. Um that's my second time actually been in LA. Me and Butala actually, you know, talked about moving to LA, you know. Because there's a lot of opportunities and stuff there. We actually went for my birthday. But we actually went there for some other reasons as well. So, we was there for about, you know, about five days. You know, about five days. And being there really opened my eyes. So, this video is going to be me explaining everything that went on with the trip. And, you know, giving you guys some answers sight and some motivation um i'm hoping that this video really you know open a lot of people's eyes and really motivate a lot of people so get into the story me and batala got there around um, i would say monday morning but like like you know after 12 o'clock sunday so it was kind of like yeah monday early in the so we got there. Normally trip is a normal trip. So the thing about LA that really opened my eyes was once you get over, once you get over the whole um, thing about, you know, um, just being in Hollywood and just being around a lot of superstars, you get this, this hustle mentality. You get this hustle you know, the way that people go about doing stuff, you get this hustle culture, like, we went there, All-Star Weekend, and I told myself, I want to come back here, when, you know, I can really get the sense of the city, I felt too many people was there, All-Star Weekend, and it gave the city, like, this fake importance, you know what I mean, like, it was so many people there, so many superstars and something told me like this is a facade i don't think la is like this you know what i mean like i think this is like a a net to make people be like oh i want to come here but this is really not what you're gonna get with you you know move to la so this trip you know obviously it was my birthday but i also want to come on a time where it's like you know obviously it's gonna be there out of town all the time because it's LA but you know around times like this not a lot of people is you know there from out of town if you get what I'm saying it's gonna always be people there from out of town but not too much like like it is in the summer and stuff like that so yeah that's basically me wanting to you know get the get the real sense of LA so our hotel was on Hollywood, so we, we took, you know, trips to over around, and, you know, we ran into so many superstars, we ran into comedians, we ran into, you know, popular YouTubers, and we are not the type that, you know, go up and run up, like, oh, can we get a picture, it kind of motivate us, like, especially me, like, I'm not, I don't get starstruck i'm not a starstruck type of person for some reason i'm not like i have walked past so many rich people and didn't say nothing i just be like oh that's such and such it just walked past like i was never one of them dudes it's like can i get your autograph please can i take a picture it was just like for some reason the only thing that that's different between me and a superstar is the money for some reason i feel like you know it's not an ego thing, but I have talent, I, and I'm not just going to downplay myself because, you know, I, I just don't worship people. That's the only thing. I, I can say that, you know, it's not a hating thing, but I just don't find myself worshiping nobody because at the end of the day, you are just like me. The only thing that you have is money and fame. Other than that, if I can't talk to you like a human being, if I can't actually get to know you like a human being then i kind of don't want to deal with you like that you know what i mean like and i understand rich and famous rich and famous people got so many people on them but to me i treat everybody the same i don't care what you got and i don't care 
is is actually up like blocks full of like homeless people like it's like blocks i don't i, I think they call it skull road or something like that skull or skate road and it's like blocks and blocks and blocks nothing but tents and uh, homeless people just under bridges and i'm like whoa me and potato was actually in the uber like i almost shed a tear i'm like 
that's how they do it, you know, you know, Hollywood Boulevard, you know, people kind of, you know, they dance, they sell stuff, I understand, you hustle, you hustle, but it was kind of shocking to me, because I have, like, my, I would say, four nights and five days, my five days, I was there, I ran it, we had to run into so many superstars, you know what I mean? My lifetime in Milwaukee, I have, I probably ran into semi, and now all of them were basketball players. I have never ran into no superstar at all, unless he wasn't a basketball player from playing here, you know what I mean? But I was there for five days. And I ran into so many people. I ran into when we was eating, people was coming in. We had Michael Blackston. We have some other comedians that was coming in. When we was eating at uh, Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles, um, I ran into Ray J. Um, we ran into so many people. DDG, um, a lot of popular YouTubers. And that opened my head like, since I've been here for five days, I have ran into and saw so many people that's doing their own thing. And the way that I hustle, the way that I market myself, the way I try to make everything, you know, I try to make everything work for me. If I would have been living in L.A. and I would have been on my marketing, that would have been opportunity, opportunity, opportunity. I'm that guy. I have a, I'm, I'm trying to make everything an opportunity. Let's work. Let's, you know, let's, let's think about some plans. Let's, let's, let's really collaborate. You know what I mean? That's the type of guy I am. And seeing so many people, if I would have been living there, and I've seen people, rich people and, you know, popular people, day after day after day after day. I don't care. It's going to be a day where I'm going to become rich and successful. That's exactly what I'm saying. A lot of people just live in there and not taking, you know, not really taking it and using it. Like, like J. Cole. J. Cole basically like was explaining himself and he was like when he moved to New York he looked at everybody and he was like yo y'all live in New York y'all got record labels down the street and y'all not y'all not taking this like y'all taking this shit for granted like that's why I said earlier I feel like I'm coming for
bikinis and you know Mustangs and Range Rovers and stuff. You can see all that people spending thousands of dollars. Then you can drive up the street and see completely homeless people. Acts for change. And then you can see people working at the gas station. People on the street selling t-shirts. People dancing on the streets for money. People driving Uber. People that's working at, you know, Target and stuff like that. Then you see billboards of people that's actually right next to you. You like, oh, she's famous. She's on this billboard. You can see the poor, the middle class housing. And you can see million dollar houses on the hill. So close to each other. I live in Milwaukee, West Coast. I'm going to keep telling y'all that. The hood is so far from where the suburbs are. That it's not close how LA is. That's what's opening my eyes. Where I live at, I'm going to be honest, is, you know, it's, it's, it's really, you know, what's the word for it? Se segregated. It's very segregated. It's this race on the south side, this race on the north side, this race on the west side, and this race on the east side. Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Wisconsin period, is kind of, just, just think about it like this. Wisconsin is a red state. I mean, it's a red, you know, it's a red state. And Milwaukee is a blue city. So, you can see red, 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 blue. <laughs> so, that shows you how segregated our city is and how tough it is to just try to make a decent living here and be treated right. So, when you go to L.A., it's like, Y'all got this shit in y'all hands and y'all do not, do not care. Why? Why? I don't want to hear, man, like, I just saw some people just outside just dancing. And don't get me wrong, I don't live that life. And that's pretty much what they want to do. But I'm like, Hollywood is right here. Is it just me? Is it just like a is it just like an outsider mentality where it's like we take we take everything like what state garbage is our treasure? Is it kinda like that? Because as soon as I got to LA I'm like my head was just like ranking like so many ideas, so many this and so many that and so many like just business plans, like seeing people just like and I knew if I lived there, that would be an everyday thing, an everyday thing. So, I'm like, i only been here for five days. And I have seen so many superstars, so many important people that I have seen that have five days compared to my 24 years of living on this earth. And I'm like, there's so much opportunity. And there's so many people there, but still, nobody is trying to work hard to get the shit. And I think it's when it comes to me, I think it's an outside mentality. Like I told you guys, if you ever seen people come from this country, I mean come from outside of this country to come to this country, they work their asses off. People, they, people that come from other countries that come to the U.S., they become doctors. They, they, they build, you know, businesses. You know, they, they be having, they just be successful. They whole family go to college and learn how to do everything. Become doctors. Become dentists. Become. Stuff. 
at five years and ten years? Is it a short term goal? Is it a long term goal? What can you do to get there? And do that. Write it down. And do it step by step every day. Come with a goal. It's so many people that actually wants it and has no goals in life. It's plenty of people that say, I want to be rich and never work for it. How the hell do you want to be rich and you don't work for the shit? You don't get up in the morning to work. You don't do nothing, but you want to be successful. Tell me how, how does that work? How do you want to be successful, but every time you get off work, you go to sleep? Every time you get off work, you just sit down on your ass and watch TV, play the game. How are you going to become successful? How are you going to take yourself serious? Nobody is going to take you serious if you don't take you serious. Why? Why would somebody invest money into your dream when you can't even invest time into your dream? This is 2019. It's either you gon' tell yourself I'm a failure and sit your ass down and live your life normal. Or you gon' get your ass up and work, work, work. Are you gonna do that? There's no more talking no more. There's no more. There's nothing no more. We're not talking. We're not. We're not babysitting people. We're not doing none of that. If you don't like the way I'm talking, you can get from around me. It's 2019. We are we trying. We are trying to become successful. We are trying to become millionaires. We are trying to become, you know, the best person that we can be. Don't let people mindset bring you down. Don't let people judgment bring you down. Don't don't let nobody failure in their own life bring you down. It's 2019. It's time to work. We not plan no more. If you live in a city right now that have so much opportunity, go out there and get it. Don't be scared. What do you want to do? Forget sleep. F sleep. You can sleep when you go. It's time to win right now. It's time to get up off your ass and win right now. We got to make a difference. Especially people my age and younger. We have to make a difference. There's no more sitting on our ass playing games and doing none of that. We need to become millionaires. We need to become people that's going to push other people. We need to become lawyers, doctors, movie stars, film directors, motivational speakers, scientists, uh, psych psychiatrists, you know, librarians. We need to become everything. Nobody is doing that. It's all these people been in position.
this time to make a movement. Let's make this money. Young or old, it's time to go.